Welcome to my channel. Well, the subtitle for this video might be The Blind Leading the Blind. Actually, uh, as a pilot with over 23,000 flight hours uh, and decades of flying experience, I'm going to demonstrate uh, very painfully that uh, being able to fly a fixed wing airplane has absolutely no uh, advantage for those trying to learn to fly a helicopter. Now, I've always wanted to try flying a helicopter. Uh, I have had a few chances to actually get my hands on a real helicopter when I was in the service, uh, just riding around with some guys in the Army in the OH-58 helicopter, but uh, never really any serious stick time. So you're going to find out that I don't know a whole lot about it, but stick with me. I think you'll find it interesting. I'm also going to show you how I modified my VR sim so that I could use it for helicopters. And I'm going to talk about the uh, fairly inexpensive K-51 collective that I ordered from Russia. And uh, I'm going to show you that and give you a, an idea of what is available uh, for a reasonable price if you're interested in helicopters. Check so guys. stick with me. I guess I'd like to ask you first of all, I always wait till the end and most of the people are not still watching. So I'd like to ask you to like, uh, share, uh, comment, and most of all subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos come out. Now let's get on with 100. it. A while back I did a video which I'll link above uh, which was how I built a VR simulator and the whole idea was to build a simulator that could be modified to handle uh, any configuration including helicopters of course I was thinking in, in advance there and finally gotten around to that. So my sim mounted on a platform with rollers has a removable uh, armrest on the left uh, that can hold uh, different uh, types of throttles and uh, joysticks and that just can be unclamped and removed. The pedestal that holds the yoke can also be removed. So I built a new shorter pedestal that could handle uh, a joystick to use as a cyclic uh, between the legs and a new uh, side mount for the collective that I purchased. The end result is that I can fairly easily convert the simulator from fixed wing to rotary wing by just uh, replacing the side uh, armrest with the uh, collective mount and just fastening it in with the uh, clamps. The conversion takes about five minutes and uh, you can easily store the elements you're not using nearby. You can easily uh, replace the center pedestal too and design the, uh, the little platform there so that you have the stick in the right place for your, your uh, body size and ergonomics. Just clamps in just like the uh, side uh, mount. I ordered the K-51 uh, collective uh, from Russia and it arrived in this box that was uh, well packed with lots of foam no damage it was in very very well packed it sat on my front front porch after delivery for about half a day and I think some of the neighbors uh, now think I'm the middleman between uh, Putin and uh, President Trump however uh, the uh, quality of the uh, unit was quite nice it has a nice strong metal cage it's very strong it has lots of resistance uh, some of the parts are look to be 3d printed so they're uh, probably not as durable as a hard plastic uh, but uh, still looks plenty durable and it uh, it feels great I think it's well made as you can see it has a twist throttle also has a number of uh, uh, toggle switches uh, two four-way hat switches uh, adjustable uh, knob for adjusting the uh, tension and uh, a number of momentary switches too one of the switches, the one in red, is a three-way switch. Helicopter sim equipment is a fairly narrow market, so I think the price of $220 is fairly reasonable. Now, the shipping was pretty expensive. Because of COVID, he wanted to send it express. It cost about 50 bucks, I think, or 60 bucks shipping. Uh, and it took uh, about two to three weeks because of the COVID. There's limited flights between Russia and the U.S. I tried flying helicopters using a throttle and it just it just wasn't uh, realistic and I'm finding this uh, to be a, a purchase that I, I'm pretty happy with but I'll have to report on the durability a lot further on down the line. 
Okay, now's where I embarrass myself by trying to fly this helicopter while you watch. It's uh, not as easy as it looks. Uh, I'll tell you, when I was in the Air Force flying the F-4, we had a guy who transferred from a helicopter unit into the F-4, and I thought, how in the heck can a guy who can just fly helicopters handle a fighter plane? And now that I've tried this a little bit, I'm starting to come to the realization that, uh, that it takes a lot of eye-hand coordination and foot coordination to fly a helicopter. So it's kind of a, just a, a, something I want to try to do here while I'm uh, in retirement since I've never flown the helicopter and uh, was able to find this collective at a decent price. So I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, that guy's name was uh, Schroeder. We called him Rotor Schroeder, and he uh, was quite a fighter pilot. Uh, but uh, I sure had my doubts when he showed up. <laughs> so I learned my lesson. It's probably easier to go from a, a helicopter to a fixed wing than it is to do it the other way around. It's pretty easy to hurt yourself in a helicopter pretty quick. Anyway, I'm going to take this thing out and give it a try. Um, kind of scraping the ground here, but uh, try to get it up off the ground. And um, it um, it's harder than it looks. Uh, the uh, you need to as you pull a collective up. You get torque and you need to push left rudder. Of course, you're used to using right rudder on a prop plane for takeoff, so that's kind of backwards. And um, then for uh, uh, when you reduce a collective, you need to push the right pedal. I say rudder, pedal is the magic word. There we're heading towards the Louisville. There. This is the Louisville Airport, uh, the uh, big hub for UPS, and uh, they've got it modeled pretty well in, uh, in uh, X plane. Uh, just after after flying a flight sim 2020 it, it's kind of tough to compare because this just this doesn't have the detail um, and I look forward to flying a helicopter when they get those in FS 2020 because at 500 feet the world looks really good uh, in flight sim 2020 so it'll be great for that uh, however I think the flight model has a very good reputation in the X plane the guys who fly helicopters uh, tell me that this is probably the best flight model uh, that's Check available heights. for helicopters on desktop simulators. Now I like my uh, VR sim. I like the way that I modified it. Uh, it's working really, really well. Uh, and I can change it back and forth. And I can also put a, uh, a HOTUS on the left side and uh, a stick in the middle and, and fly 100. fighter too. So I'm looking forward to trying DCS. Uh, at some point, but golly, there's just not, not enough time in retirement to do all the fun things you want to do. Now I'm going to give this another try here, and it's, uh, I tend to land this thing like an airplane. I just never quite get it to the hover, and I end up, uh, and then I end up uh, getting that nose high attitude, and, and there you see I scrape the tail. So I'm doing something wrong. Um, for some reason, I always want to fly that same approach that I'm used to seeing in an aircraft. The times I have flown in a helicopter with, uh, with uh, when I was in the Air Force flying with the Army uh, helicopter guys, it was, uh, it was always looked very steep, the approaches they made, especially when they came in in a tactical situation. They'd come in very steep. Okay, pulling the collective, get this thing off the ground, and see, you got to have that left pedal to keep that thing aimed straight. and. Uh, there's no ball to watch, so I, I'm a little bit perplexed. Uh, I've seen some helicopter uh, sims have a, a, a little uh, string or something, like a, like a glider has a little yaw string. But uh, anyway, let's head down here and try this again, just keep working on it. If anyone has any uh, good hints, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. If you've got a good tutorial online that you suggest, um, don't beat me up too bad. <laughs> Because I'm just starting, I just uh, just this is almost my about my second or third time I've played with this, but um, try to slow this thing down. But I never quite get it to, to a good hover before I bring it down. I think that's why the tail is I'm still kind of slowing down. I got that nose high, and uh, I, I need to do that higher, I guess. Anyway, I, the, as you can tell, 23,000 hours uh, in jet in flying jets and fighters is. It has not taught me a thing about flying helicopters. Now there you go. If you don't, uh, by the way, I have this rota rotation wrong on this uh, throttle. 
uh, I didn't know it. I just used it out of the box, but uh, I, I read that I need to change the, the checkbox to reverse that. It should work like a motorcycle throttle. So let's uh, head back across the UPS ramp and we'll head her back to uh, uh, back to the gate here. I really like this collective though. It's got a real solid feel. It's got a lot of resistance. It's not. Uh, it doesn't feel 100. cheap at all, even though it uh, it uh, is pretty much homemade. I think the guy Mick Mikhail, and uh, I'm going to post at the end of the video here. I'm going to post contact information for him. So if you are interested in looking into this, as I said, $220 plus about 50 or 60. If you're in Europe, I think the shipping is a lot less than bringing it to the U.S. And when COVID is over, they may be able to ship it in a slower way, that's, uh, more economical. But he told me if I didn't go. Uh, for the express shipping it may take a long time so anyway as I land here I'll uh, thank you again for watching my video please like subscribe comment ring the bell all that stuff you know the drill I'm not doing this for money uh, but I do enjoy having feedback from you guys and it does encourage me to make more videos if uh, if I know people are watching them just hit 10,000 recently so uh, hope to keep growing this channel and uh, having fun making these videos Thanks for watching. See you soon.